Officially day one of our road trip to West Texas. We're so fucking excited. And we got up this morning at 6 a.m. We left Austin around 7 a.m. It's now 10 a.m. So we have about five hours left in the car. It's gonna take us about eight hours to get where we're going, but we're so excited to show you guys because the places that we're staying are pretty cool. Never been in the car for eight hours before. I think the longest I've road tripped is like six hours maybe, so this is definitely interesting. But luckily, Rafa would rather just drive the whole time than have me drive, so I'm perfect with that. I'm the passenger princess. What's so nice is that Chevy actually offered to like gift us this car for one week to take on the road trip. It's a Chevy Trailblazer, so it's really nice because we have a super nice new car that we're road tripping in. and. It's just really cool so thank you Chevy so much for gifting us this for the week they didn't like gift us the car to own <laughs> but it's like we're just rent renting it essentially for a week we have 212 miles on this highway <laughs> we packed a few snacks before we left but I want to show something that she brought I brought a whole liter of chamoy just in case you know it well actually it's so good that I brought this because we just bought watermelon gummies and now I can put this chamoy on the watermelon gummies when I eat them. Look at these nails that I did last night. They're press on nails from Paintbox and they're so fun. You want this? I love that. Okay, snackies. What should we get? Wow, this is like H-E-B in here. Wait, look at all this. Oh my god, Mexican candy. Yeah. <gasps> No, chamoy watermelon slices. Oh my god, we're getting these. Wait, these? The chatting. If you're a Mexican ch child, well, this is like a bootleg version, but cucharitas. Time for some red 40. Cheeto fries just never fail. Would you like one? Um, no, thank you. Resistance. That's self control. Well, it's 10 a.m. I'm not judging you, but. <laughs> this drive is hella ugly. <laughs> I feel like one of those like tumbleweeds is about to go across the road. No, let's show them. This is beautiful. It's absolutely stunning. Stop number two. Howdy, folks. We're out here in Arizona, Texas. The woman in there helping us was seriously one of the nicest people I've encountered in so long. I just love going to like small towns like this because people are always so happy and nice. And it's just so cute. Like she was just such a sweetheart. It literally made our day. Yes, she was. I wish her the best. Nothing more than that. But we got the bag. This sub was made with love. We have about four hours left in our journey. I got an Italian sub with pickles and banana peppers and onions and olives. One hour left. We're listening to the Girls Gotta Eat podcast. <laughs> I'm making Rafa listen to the episode called Inside the Male Mind. One last stop for gas. It feels so good to stretch my legs. I've been sitting in that car for over seven fucking hours. I need a cella. I need a beer. Or a glass of wine. Or a shot of tequila. Welcome, bienvenidos, Terralingua Ghost Town. Very, very happy to stay here. And now we're gonna shower and get ready. Hopefully go get some drinks, some food, 
We just took a shower, I'm about to get ready, and then hopefully we're gonna get some cute sunset photos, and then we're gonna go into the town, which isn't really much of a town. There's like three restaurants, and that's about it. But, and there's a gift shop, but we're gonna find somewhere to eat dinner, maybe have a few drinks, and just have ourselves a night. Okay, here's the outfit for night one. This top's from Anthropology. Shorts are from a Goldie. And then I have my Tacovas black boots. Here's the makeup. I just did a little bit of tinted moisturizer. <clears throat> Why am I talking like that? I just did a little bit of tinted moisturizer, bronzer, blush. I put on some fake freckles, some gloss. And that's it. No mascara because I have my lash lift right now. But why is it that whenever I get on go on a trip or vacation, I'm like, I feel prettier. It's so weird. <laughs> I'm like, I feel like I have vacation glow right now that I just don't have when I'm in Austin. First night, Rafa's outfit. Shoes, pants, that survives. We love it. Look at that. What a beautiful little pilgrim. I look like a little pilgrim cowgirl. <laughs> look at this beautiful sunset. You're welcome, pilgrim. Brussels sprouts, queso, chili. We're excited. Look at this burger. Good morning vlog. We woke up at 7.20. Look at this sunrise from our bed. Oh, the camera's like not doing it justice, but it's beautiful. We had a little bit of wine when we got back from dinner last night, so I feel not the best, not the best, but I'll pull through. We're gonna get up and get ready to go to Big Ben soon. I think today we're gonna hike, what's it called? Lost Mines. Today we're gonna hike Lost Mines. Last night, dinner was so fun. Like the place that we went, Starlight Theater was so cute. The vibes were on point. We're gonna get some coffee at Espresso y Poco Mas. We're almost ready to leave the place to go get some cafe single. I don't think anyone will know what that means. Well, Cafe Singo is what we call coffee. It's apparently this really good place that everyone keeps recommending, but it's also the only place we saw. We'll get some breakfast, energy for the hike. I think today's hike is maybe like four miles. There's an 11 mile trail. Would you want to do that? No, we don't have time for that. Look at that immediate reaction. No. We don't have time for that. Yes, we do. Cut the cameras. I'm so excited because they have Valentina, which is my favorite hot sauce. What did we get? A breakfast burrito with two eggs, with sausage, with bacon, with avocado, with... Jalapenos? No, I forgot the jalapenos. <gasps> no. Let me ask. No, it's fine. No, I, I want to try to get a picture and then we're going to head out to the park. It's one of the benefits of speaking Spanish and being nice to people. Huh? We got free jalapeno. Baby, can we come back and get the chamoy smoothie? Okay. Can we come back and Is get this the... for the thumbnail? Can we come back and get the chamoy smoothie? <laughs> and the beautiful thing is that this was made with love. You know, like, the lady was so sweet. Yeah. I saw her making it from scratch. And she put avocado in it, which is my favorite. And sausage in, but oof. What? Poison test. Get this. Look at that. Update, I got the chamoy mango smoothie. <laughs> it's so good. Uh, on, o como se llame. Y que nada más le diga Selvi, Selvia, porque pues ella fue la que sacó el coche. Nada más. We're officially in the park. It cost $30 for us to get in. It literally looks like we're on Mars. We made it to Big Bend. <laughs> what do white people say on hikes? Good morning. Hey, how are ya? How's it going? Hey, how are ya? The view's great up there. <laughs> it's worth it. We're heading up. 12 minutes into the trail. We're already kind of winded. I'm scared, baby. I know, but you're like, we're not in the 
Fun fact, this is all the Chihuahuan Desert. And it was Mexico at one point. Until they stole it from us. <laughs> Mommy, be careful. Rabies? The mosquitoes. Made it back. And that was hard, but it was fun. We just got back to our Airbnb after having tacos. This is my favorite Mexican candy. You put like this sauce on and then you eat it. <laughs> and then you eat it. And then you eat it. I'll demonstrate. Oh, it's like that. You know when you're on vacation, you come back to your place at like your hotel or whatever at like four or 5 p.m. and you just like want to slump. And, like it's so hard to rally to like go get up and do something else. That's insane that you just bit it like that. Why? So you're supposed to like string it or eat it like this. We got a little skinny marg, but it's still pretty sweet. It's so beautiful and peaceful. We got some mozzarella sticks and then we're gonna go to dinner back in Terralingua, but right now we're in Lajitas, which is like 20 minutes outside of Terralingua. It is stunning. I didn't realize too, I looked at the map, we're like right on the border to Mexico. I'm just really starting to feel like I'm on vacation in January in Texas. It's just beautiful and it's beautiful weather. Salud. This is our second second night here in a row because these vibes The vibes okay, so are there's undefeated. No, there's nothing better than this, but there's also nothing else, right? Like there's like two places. So it's Good morning. We just woke up. Oh. Good morning. We just woke up and we're very tired. It's 8 a.m. Technically, we should be getting ready for the hike right now, but we're gonna go drive and get coffee so we can sip our coffee while we get ready because when we travel, we both have problems with going to the bathroom. Like, it just doesn't happen for, e for either of us for days. It just doesn't happen to either of us for days. And we need coffee and just to like chill in the Airbnb. <laughs> we need some black header, that's what we need. And then once that happens, we can head out on our hike. Apparently last night Rafa kind of slept like shit because I was snoring the entire night and I was sleeping like this With my mouth wide open and he was like he was like everything was clogged <laughs> Everything. And I was snoring so loud and he couldn't sleep and I think it's so funny <laughs> I feel so bad though last night. We had a few drinks at the Starlight Theater We actually shut the place down <laughs> And I have to say, the food was definitely not as good the second time we went as it was the first time. And we've realized something, that if you come to this town, there's literally three restaurants and they all serve the same thing. Burgers and fries and chili. So we've just been kind of eating fries and burgers literally for two days straight. I don't know what we're going to eat tonight. Now I'm so excited to get my hands on a latte and to go hike Santa Elena Canyon and I can't wait to show you guys where we're staying tonight because we're moving locations and it's the sickest place that we found on Google. We planned this a few months ago and we're so excited. We only booked one night at this place because it's kind of, it's just kind of expensive. Like it'd be really expensive to do it for two nights. So we were like, oh, I'll just do it for one night. And I can't wait to show you, it's gonna be so cool. Iced triple shot latte with vanilla. We are really hoping this triple shot oh, the sun. gets the work done. We also got a burrito, but we're saving that for later. <laughs> All right, we're headed out of our cute little A-frame. We just got ready and now we're leaving. We're gonna go hike Santa Elena Canyon. 
maybe go to the hot springs and then we're gonna check in to our other airbnb at four definitely want to get tacos again today maybe from the same place we got them yesterday they had birria tacos and i really want to try them because i've only had birria like one time we're ready to hit the road we gotta go gas station hall It was formed by the Terling, Terlingua Fault, which is mostly covered in gravel. Deepest channel. Never seen the Rio Grande, and I've always really wanted to, <laughs> so I'm excited. She just casually whipped out a fun fact in the car, being like, it was one of my dreams as a kid to see the Rio Grande. I'm like, what the? Rafa's trying to see if he can throw a rock onto Mexico. That's Mexico right there for reference. You're scaring me. Did you do it? No, I landed in the water. Let's try again. Go. Don't don't run though. You're freaking me out. Nope. Water still. I really love all these cactuses. They are so cute and they're so happy. They seem just like so tranquil in their natural environment and that they're just loving life. I love to see a happy plant. My parents are really big gardeners. Is that the word, Fabis? Gardeners. Yeah, they're like bot botanists, no? They're like botanists, gardeners, so they've taught me a lot about plants and when you can tell if a plant is happy or not. And I these are definitely some happy cactuses. Hola, Tatingis. Hola, we made it. Mexico, US, Rio Grande. And then those are the Chisos Mountains, and then those are the Sierra Quemada Mountains. We are back at El Gordo's. We are back. We just ordered four birria tacos, one al pastor torta, and one tamale. And then we're gonna go check into our Airbnb. Somehow we found Oli Pop in Terlingua. That is really weird. Al pastor torta. The birria tacos and a tamale. This looks so good. All right, y'all, we officially arrived at Bubble Terra Lingua. That is our bubble. We have a jacuzzi, this outdoor shower, which is so nice. So first you come in here, you have to shut this door because if you don't shut this door before you open that door, the whole thing will deflate. <laughs> Let's go inside. Look at this. You have this beautiful view of the mountains. Big Bend is right over there. Rafa's reading the handbook on the couch. This is like our little living room. You have like a little kitchen, air conditioner, fridge, coffee, everything. Then you go in here, you have the bedroom with this crazy clear roof for stargazing at night. I'm so excited for that. You have another air conditioner and then you have a bathroom. There's even like a little door. Come in here, you have a sink, a mirror, toilet, and you even have another shower right here. We have like four chairs out there if we want to sit outside, the jacuzzi, and there's even a little grill out there if you want to grill food. What do you think, Rafa? This is amazing. Crazy, right? It's sick. It's so cool. Yeah, I'm excited. We just got to the pool. It's huge. And since it's the off season, there really isn't anyone staying here right now, so we have the whole thing to ourselves, which is crazy. This pool is like on the compound with all the other bubbles, so it's like shared between all the guests. We just went to the grocery store and got stuff to grill. There wasn't that many options. So we got stuff to make hot dogs and corn on the grill. I'm wearing this little necklace from Princess Polly. Crochet thing is from Free People. I have this like little gold 
belt on. This is from Amazon. My linen pants are from Zara. And the boots are Tacovas. We decided we didn't want to grill anymore because it got dark and there was no lights outside at the bubble. So we were like, okay, we can't grill because there's literally no light and we did not want to hold the flashlights of our phone. So we got in the car and we drove and now we're at a pizza place called Long Draw Pizza. It's the only pizza place in town. There's live music, I can hear it. And there's fried pickles apparently, which is my favorite. Buffalo wings, fried pickles. I don't know Rafa hates pickles. But I love alitas. They're pretty good. See? Pizza is here. Thank you. Very well. This is thick. Salud. It's pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> okay guys, we're going to bed and we're gonna look at the stars. You can't see them obviously now, but Ruff is scaring the shit out of me because he keeps saying that he's hearing someone scratching on the tent. You gotta show him this. Look at this. Dude, I, he scared the shit out of me. I'm not gonna lie, this is kind of scary. I'm like, oh, like this is kind of scary. Like, is the door locked? And he's like, yeah, but like, that doesn't stop anyone with a knife. From like just, <laughs> from just like ripping the air bubble. Huh? I'm so scared. But um, we're gonna go watch the stars from up here. Go to sleep. And guys, I hope I make another vlog tomorrow morning because that means that I lived. We're gonna live a meal. I live to tell the tale. It's so cold in here right now. It's like 30 degrees. <laughs> okay, good night. See you guys tomorrow. But like, just pray for us that we, that we come out alive tonight. <laughs> We're the only people here. It's like fucking scary. Good morning, y'all. We just woke up. It's fucking freezing. It's so cold in the bubble right now. It's like, I don't know, maybe it feels like 45 degrees. It could be colder. What do you think? Um, just maybe, yeah. I don't know, but it's freezing. It's freezing. It was so cold all night, but we were under like 15 blankets, so we slept fine. And it wasn't scary. I didn't hear any noises. Did you? No, dude. We're in the middle of... But fuck nowhere. <laughs> I was still a little scared going to bed. We made some Keurig coffee. Now we're about to watch the sunrise before we head out. And then we're gonna head up to Marfa, spend a little bit of time in Marfa, and then head home. And I'm having the Sunday scaries because I like have to go to work tomorrow. I haven't worked in four days and I have like 18 meetings and I'm very anxious about it. No How are you doing? Well, my stomach hurts really bad. That pizza last night was a bomb. I woke up at like, 3 a.m. and I didn't know if I was dead or alive. <laughs> I had like the pizza here and like my stomach and I was like, dude, I need help. Ayuda. Ayuda. He's shaking. <laughs> Hot dog? We've officially left Terra Lingua. We're on our way to Marfa. We're about 30 minutes away. I have on my gold jacket from free people because i really wanted to get some photos in this before we left so i'm hoping i can get some in marfa it's kind of our last hurrah on this trip and then we head seven hours back to austin it's 11 so we're not going to get home till like probably 8 p.m ish oh, which kind of sucks but more did you think later yeah really and also depends on how efficient your pictures are also depends on how fast you drive, huh? I'm sorry, I failed you. I, we got to Marfa and I just completely forgot to film anything. <laughs> and now we are like five hours into the drive. We have one hour left until, oh, I thought for a second we had two hours left, until we get to Austin. In There wasn't even much to show you in Marfa other than the fact that we got a sandwich that the bread was so hard it like ripped the inside of our mouth open 
because it was like a rough ass baguette and we've been driving for five hours rafa was dj for like about four hours now we've been listening to podcasts we listen to girls gotta eat attachment theory with andrew huberman we listen to alex earl T of 2023. Rafa was actually weirdly like invested in it, which was really funny. We've had many pit stops at many gas stations for many snacks. I've eaten a lot of gomita sandias. We got Lunchables, we got Gatorade, we got coffee, we got Red Bull. Like we've, we were just talking about how we feel like ass right now. Like we feel like ass and we're like, what should we get for dinner? Like when we get back to Austin, and Ruff is like, dude, I'm like, ah, I kind of want something that like tastes different than what we've eaten all weekend. Ruff is like, we haven't had a single vegetable all weekend. Like we need vegetables. He's like, the only vegetable we've had is like the three pieces of arugula on the sandwich this morning. And I was like, oh, wait, you're so right. Like I literally ate a whole basket of fried pickles last night. So I think we're going to get sweet green because we need some fiber. We need some veggies. And then I, I'm begging Rafa to watch the Emoji movie because that's like such a comfort movie. If you know, you know. The Emoji movie is so good. But Rafa just really... Dude, I'm really He's dead really, sight, he's like, really not head. having it. I don't know if you guys can tell. Like, he's not okay right now. I'm fucking tired. I feel like shit. I have Sunday scaries. I have anxiety. Like, I don't... I'm, I'm tired of driving. I know. I, I just feel crusty. I feel bad for him. Ugh. We made it home. Rafa is dead. And we got Poke from Poke Works. We're about to eat this and we're gonna watch the Emoji Movie or Marcel the Shell because we just need something really comforting to watch. And we just wanted to say thank you guys for coming along on this trip with us. It was really fun and it was really fun to vlog it and I can't wait to edit all this footage and watch it back and relive it all. Bye. Bye.